positive aspects and the small decision, and it really is a smaller decision. Make the small decision. Hi there, my name's Lux, and for the past few years, I've lived full time on the road in this six by twelve cargo trailer. It popped up about six weeks ago and I've been doing a good job covering it with makeup or a pretty good job. Maybe you guys have noticed it in videos and stuff. Uh, so it's coverable and it went down. It just started like a little pimple, but after six, seven weeks, it's not going away. And then I messed with it and I got mad. And the thing is, is my dad has a history of skin cancer and I Googled, you know, a pimple that lasts this long and the first thing it says is be aware that it could be skin cancer. So I called around to several dermatologists in, you know, X amount of radius uh, and I found one that's about an hour and a half away in Idaho Falls that was willing to squeeze me in this week. So we're going to go tomorrow and I'm going to take you guys with tomorrow so that we can... Well, I'll do the best, you know, I'm still a shy vlogger, but I'm going to do the best that I can to show you guys what that appointment looks like. I look crazy. It's a hyaluronic acid mask. You know. Self-care in a way. You so bored while I work? Yeah. Frostbite. Ugh, this is why you always wear gloves as a kid. Don't be like me. We're gonna go get a skin check. Now, maybe it seems dramatic that, and it's probably just a pimple that is taking forever to heal, uh, 
but my dad has a pretty torrid history with skin cancer and he had his first skin cancer removed at about my age and I'm very fair and you know we're outside a lot I do wear SPF 50 every day I wear a hat really frequently but it just has something to play with so this skin check at uh, the dermatologist I'm going to um, is normally like $135 but I told them I'm paying out of pocket because the insurance that I have is not going to cover it so they said that once you take the out of pocket deductions it should be about $50 just to see the doctor which seems worth it even if he goes it's a it's a freaking pimple you nerd I would rather pay $50 for that peace of mind given my family history because if we go a little further into my family history though not blood related I do have an uncle that died of melanoma so I just you know it's one of those things where it's like why take the risk if you don't have to alright here in a minute we're gonna head out we're gonna head out she's gonna come with not into the office but for the ride you know she comes everywhere and we'll go from there fingers crossed y'all we are here about 40 minutes early oh honey I right, stepping on my sunflower seeds the dermatology office is in kind of like a medical district. This is what the little area looks like. This over here is the, I guess they're apartments. Assisted living. And then some other like medical offices and whatnot. If you're wondering what Riot does, she, she is patient. While I do things, usually, right? Usually patient. The temperature is very mild, so she's fine being in the car. I'm all set here. I'm nervous. Okay, so apparently it was pre-cancer. That's what the physician diagnosed it as and did a freezing treatment. So over the next few weeks, it's going to scab up and then fall off. And that should take care of it. If I have an ugly scab for a little bit, just be nice to me in the comments. of having a precancerous lesion is then going and buying even more sunscreen. I typically, I'll show you in the trailer what I use, but I went and spent, I don't know, $70 on sunscreen by going and getting expensive. I got Vichy and La Roche-Posay. I have some band-aids to cover this bullshit. I'm supposed to put Vaseline on it. This is what I had been using, and I put it on every morning. Granted, I don't know. And then I always use this and it has an additional SPF 15. I guess you know some of this is just genetic. 
I called my mom directly afterwards and she told me that her mom had precancerous cells on her nose and needed to have them frozen. Her grandmother, my great grandmother did as well. And then my dad has had precancerous cells frozen off and then actual skin cancer too. So as much as I'm using sunscreen, you know, I've gotten burnt a couple times as like a kid, but I have always been so careful. So maybe part of this is just genetic. I'm going to do some research and uh, get back with you tomorrow. Um, if you're wondering, the bill was $118.88. And so that's out of pocket, no insurance, at a dermatology office that seemed really nice in Idaho Falls. So for $118, this should be, you know, a fix. Um, because, you know, with the type of insurance I have, it wasn't going to cover it anyway. But it means it. I would rather pay $118 and have this addressed. And I hope that you guys, if you have anything similar, take it seriously and have it addressed. Because as outdoorsy people, we have to be a little bit more careful. Oh, Good morning everyone. I know it's dark yet, because it's dark yet, <laughs> but I'm starting my work day. I've told some of you, I'm making coffee here, I'm using natural bliss creamer. I started a new job as a virtual assistant. I wrote a blog about it. This particular job is long term. It's still an independent contractor position, so I get to by and large create my own schedule except for Monday and Friday because there's meetings. Or otherwise, I can work whatever hours I want uh, as long as I get my projects done. Um, but it's only like 20 hours a week, so I'm still doing some side freelance hustles and then obviously. YouTube, so lots of different things going on. Um, let's see if I can't get some better sunlight. As we all know, my lights are knocked out in here. Something I'm going to have to resolve this winter or get fairy lights. I'm not sure. But it's the next morning after. The scab has like doubled in size and it's definitely crustier. This is what he said would happen. And within the next couple of weeks, it's. He said it's going to get you know, considerably worse before it gets better. Alright, I'm going to pick you guys back up when there's actual daylight for me to use. Sorry. This is such a dim part of the video, but I'm trying to share my precancerous lesion journey with you. Uh, life on the road still life! It's snowing again. So with the snow, my batteries are suffering. I don't know if you guys can see this. Because I have the Jackery and the Bluetti, I'll be able to work, but I think I have to turn my heat off. And I'm gonna have to let it catch up. You can see it's like white. I think even if I had more solar panels, right, hold on. I don't know that that would have helped because they're getting covered in snow. Yeah, my batteries are only at 65% and because they're AGMs, you know, you can't mess with that too much. I'm getting no power. You like the snow? You love the snow? Yeah. yeah. It's only been, I don't know, a half hour since I last turned on the camera. This is our snow update. Solar is effed for the day. That's right. 
So we're going to get as much work done off the Bluetti as possible. The snow is supposed to stop in a couple hours and we'll see what kind of solar we can get. I don't know if you can see my little precancerous nonsense. Yeah. Hey, at least I can't get any solar damage to my The, the derm said that it will not turn into cancer. I gotta do some research and then get back to you guys. doctor did cryotherapy. Some people call it cryosurgery, but essentially what the doctor does is they apply uh, liquid nitrogen to the area and the liquid nitrogen freezes and kills the cells. For most situations, my understanding is, is it should be a one-time deal, one and done. I'm happy to understand that cryotherapy or cryosurgery, the, lit the liquid nitrogen stuff, has about an 89.5% success rate, but I really hope that um, someone benefited from this video. Where's me dog? It's... <sighs> me and the fur burger want to thank you, thank you for watching and um, we'll see you next time too. Right? <laughs>